Welcome back. Marlon Wayans. Gang, gang, what's up, New York? I, How we feeling? I have to say, I almost didn't recognize you. I saw you in the back, like at the corner of my eye. I said, is that Marlon Wayans? He's come to all styled up he's, a bit He's day. looking striking today. You know, I, this is actually my, I didn't drink last night outfit. <laughs> Put the shades on, you know, nobody knows. I, it's my weekend at Bernie's. I'm just sitting here. I have to say, I came over to you, I gave you a <laughs> big know, fat I'm hug. Asleep or up. And I'm saying, Marlon, Marlon, you smell good this morning. And I was like, that's vodka. And you was like, no wonder why it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> now we know your drink. <laughs> anyway, you're, you're killing me. I'm, I'm like trolling you a little bit on Instagram. And I'm like... You trolling me? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Did you shut your phone off? I, I was gonna shut my phone off. People call me sometime. I got. Who is that? Let me take that uh, phone no, call. No, no. Is I it got, a FaceTime? Uh, uh, it is a FaceTime. I'll call you back. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Marlon. Yes. Marlon. Yes. So I saw you were in Vegas. Yes. You at a big fight. Yes. Right. Yes. A legitimate professional fight. Yes. You sitting behind Evander Holyfield. Yes, I, I did. And you're trolling him. I didn't you're troll him. You were instigating him. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Why would I instigate? You were instigating somebody him. that beat Mike Tyson twice. Why? Well, I would never do that. But you, you're I, making fun of his ears. I wasn't making fun. I was acknowledging the fact that those ears exist, and they're playing. They're different. <laughs> this one is like Sludge from Goonies. Like this one do this, and then that one do that. It was like pointing. His ear was looking back at me like. Hey. <laughs> and so I was like, let me take a little picture of this. And I it was I wanted people to see what I saw. And then the whole fight, he wasn't looking at the fight. I was looking at his ear and he was looking directly at Mike Tyson who bit his ear. Like he wanted to still fight him again. Oh. And I was like, look at and you see the in that I did the video. Yeah. I did a show he look, looking at Tyson. So I want to see a Mike Tyson Holyfield uh three. Well, listen, if you almost had a fight with him. You were warned by your friends, my your nephew. family. My nephew, right, my little told brother, told you Craig not to post yes. that, yes. that you would instigate yes. a vandal. Well, what had, what, had, what had happened was, I wasn't instigating. Craig was like, Marlon, don't post that now. I said, well, I just, he goes, it's going to go viral. I was like, no, it's not. He said, will you trust me for once? I said, for once, I'm going to trust you. And then I left it, and I posted when I left. Oh, and good. It went viral. And I was like, Craig, <laughs> I'm so happy that my sister made you when she was 15. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a mistake it. back then. But, you know, <laughs> come to find out, it was a purpose. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I swear to God, you kill me. So, Marlon, I mean, everything's off the table. But, like, basically, when you go on tour, family, you talk about family. Do you talk politics? What, what's, what's on your agenda when you get up there and entertain those audiences? I feel like the world is in such a bad place, right? It's been so toxic. Like, social media has divided our country. Mm. It's divided people. Everybody's so opinionated. And I just go there and I just relax, everybody. You can be a Democrat. You can be a Republican. You can be black. You can be white. You can be a person... I'm not picking on any hot topics. The joke is on me. So I talk about me. I talk about my pain. I talk about my life. And I find light in my darkness. And I hope that gives you light and laughs too. I don't come there to, you know, uh, continue the narrative of negativity. Yeah. I come there no to make people laugh and make us all feel welcome because laughter is the thing that bonds us. And I think there's, they're not doing enough comedies. Um, I don't think they're, um, and especially like now, everything's a, super, a superhero movie. They're not doing enough comedies. I feel like the world needs laughter. And that's why I work as much as I do to hit as many stages to make people laugh. So I'm in the tri-state area yeah, where this you gonna week. Be? Where Tonight you gonna... I'm at in the Bronx, but that's sold out. Okay. Then tomorrow, for Saturday, Thursday, Friday, I'm gonna be in Bridgeport, Connecticut at, at the Stress, the Stress Factory. Factory. Yeah. And then on August 3rd, August, uh, 13th, 11th, I'm at the New Jersey Pack uh, in Newark. I'm doing two shows, and I just added an extra show because those two shows are selling out. Wow. Added an extra show August 13th at New Jersey Pack. Y'all come laugh. You're I'm, working girl, hard. Girl, I got paid for these Fendi hats. You know they ain't cheap. <laughs> you're looking good. Very You looking. look great. Thank you. So you, you tell your husband stay on his game. Don't, don't, you better stay on your game, sir. <laughs> Aren't you married? No. 
Look at, look at, you see, you see it's happening right here. Right here. <laughs> Stay on your game. Stay on the game. No. Okay, so Not Marlon, let's, what's, what's a scary movie? I'm on strike. I can't talk about scary movie. Uh, you know, I know you're an act, I know you're an actor. Yeah, I'm acting a writer. But you and came I, here. So as, two of me you are came striking. here. That's true. Yeah. So I can't talk about those people. I don't even write checks anymore because the writer in me is on strike. I don't write nothing. I don't write my I don't write in my journal. I stop. I just leave it there. Acting, I don't act anymore. I am off break. I'm actually gonna open up a restaurant. You are? I'm not, but it, it, if they keep striking, I will. <laughs> but I'm just gonna stay on these stages. But you're you, you got the comic side of you, so now you're really you really go to town. You're you're working. Or maybe I'll open up a weed shop, like you know, Shorty <laughs> from that movie you're talking about. I'll open up a weed legal, shop legal. where I cook baked goods <laughs> and weed cookies. It'll make millions, son. Did yeah. you did you do anything before you came here today or no? No, no, no. I don't smoke weed. I don't, I don't. You don't? No, for what? I I feel like. If you're happy, I don't need to. I like to be crazy because I choose to be crazy. Mm. And I like to write and I like to do my stand up completely sober because I want to be funny because I know I'm being funny and I'm opening up those doors. I don't want to rely on any substance to make me feel any way. Now I will have a drink because that's what brings me down from the high of being on stage. And if you've ever been in front of thousands of people at one time, the adrenaline rush makes you go, I. I know what crackheads feel like. I do, I do, I do, because the rush from the stage, it just, choo, it, it, and for that whole hour, I'm, I just left the planet. Do you get nervous? Never. I get excited. Do you worry about, no, you know, now I, fans are throwing I stuff I have been at. funny since birth. I'm funny looking, I, I, I'm shaped funny. You I are have, not. What's wrong with your shape? I just wanted to hear that compliment, girl. <laughs> See how I bait her You're in? You're looking good, Marlon. You know, I'm running for, I, you know I, I got that Black 50 on me, girl. <laughs> you know, Black 50, we don't, we don't, black don't crack unless you smoke it. So the thing <laughs> I'm trying to say to you. I asked you a question. I forgot what it was. Okay, me too. Um, no. So, you know, they're throwing stuff now. Yes. At, like, not so much comedians, but musicians. They're throwing cell phones, yeah. and water bottles. You saw what happened with Cardi B. And yeah. BB Rexa, you know, once in a but while. But Cardi B asked for it. She said, "Throw water at me." I think she didn't like how they threw the water. I think it was cool when they tossed it, but I think that girl threw it overhand, and she was like, "Oh." She, it got in her wig, and she was like, no, uh-uh, you ain't about to do this to my new hair. Do you understand how many horses I killed for this? You gonna get it, boo. So, the thing is, they don't want to throw stuff at me. You can't throw stuff at comedians. No. I'll throw stuff back. I'll smack I'll, you, though. I will turn into a monkey at so the zoo, pull in my hand, and throw it right at you. <laughs> Don't throw none at me. Marlon Wayans, I'm so happy you're back in town bringing us <laughs> laughter. All right, one more time. New Go Jersey Pack. New Jersey Pack. Uh, August 11th, two shows. And then I'm coming back on Sunday. I added a show because I love New York, 13. New Jersey so much. Right. On the August 13th, I added a show. And tomorrow, I'm going to be in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the Stress Factory. Monday, th tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. So third, come on third, out. Yeah, third and fourth and fifth. Yes. Beautiful. Busy. I'm trying to, girl, Busy. I'm trying to work. I'm, two Ooh. parts of me are striking. I let, let this third <laughs> part work. Marlon Wayans, love you. Yes. Thank you. Support the strikes.